Ben Cody here, welcome back to another video. And the newest wave of Studio Series just dropped. Um, it just got revealed there's four deluxes and probably one Voyager. The Voyager hasn't been shown or confirmed. I'm just going off of leaks. So let's jump right into the deluxes. Starting with what I think is the biggest disappointment, uh, World War II Hot Rod. This is literally World War II Bumblebee, but repainted and with a Hot Rod head. The World War II Bumblebee was I mean, he didn't, he didn't look that bad, but that figure was garbage. I don't like that figure at all. Um, I bought it because I thought it looks cool, but in person, it's just not a very good figure. It was definitely the worst out of that wave. Um, I wanted to get this so I'd have a hot rod in scale, but I don't think I will because, like I said, I already have a mold, and I don't like it. So I hope they use that hot rod head for something else because hot rod, the head does look really, really accurate, and... I'd like a real, like a Lamborghini Centenario or Centenario hot rod. Not the old car, not the World War II. I want the Centenario. That's the one that I'd buy. Moving on to the brand new Bumblebee, which when I saw this, I was like, oh, it's just another Bumblebee. Because I thought we already had a new Camaro Bumblebee, but we don't. So this is the 2007 Concept Camaro Bumblebee. It looks a lot like the Dark of the Moon figure and kind of looks like the... Um, the hunt for the decepticons figure and i actually really like it it's got tons of chrome or tons of silver paint tons of tons of yellow paint and black paint it looks like his mask folded up because all the pictures we see are his mask down but it looks like his mask is going to fold up too like the hunt for the decepticon figure um the cannon looks pretty cool and yeah even the vehicle mode looks really really good am i gonna buy this I don't think I will. I'm going to wait until a Dark of the Moon Bumblebee comes out because that's like my favorite version of Bumblebee. When a Transformers 5 Bumblebee comes out, I might pick it up. I don't know. I want a Dark of the Moon, I want a Dark of the Moon Bumblebee the most though. So I, I might hold out and hope I, we get one of those. Um, but yeah, but the Bumblebee does look good and it looks a lot better than any other Bumblebee we've gotten in all of Studio Series. Now for the two big ones that I was so hyped for. I'm going to start with Soundwave. Um, as you guys can see, I already have Soundwave. I have the Dark of the Moon one and the um, Age of Extinction repaint. I was so, so lucky to find the actual Dark of the Moon Soundwave Deluxe. That was one of my dream figures. Everyone from 2011 remembers Q, Soundwave, and Leadfoot being the Holy Grail. They got cancelled before they came out, which pissed so many people off. Um, I was able to find Q. Q is actually pretty common and you can get them cheap. Um, I was able to get Soundwave. I was so, so lucky. I think I only paid $20 or $30 for them too. But that was so, so lucky I got to find that Soundwave. And I never found a Leadfoot. Leadfoot is the hardest to find, the most expensive out of all those deluxes. I have a knockoff Leadfoot, but not the real thing. But now that there's a mass-produced sound wave coming out, one that's not going to get uh, shut down midway through production, at least I hope it won't, that's awesome. And it even comes with a laser beak. I thought I was going to go have to, I thought I was going to have to go buy the Human Lion sound wave to get a laser beak. But this one actually comes with a laser beak. Now I have heard people complain about Soundwave's chest, because it doesn't um, split or angle. I think people are just whining about that. This sound wave looks so good. The detail on the head alone is mind-blowing to me. And, yeah, and it even comes with a little laser beak. Like, what more do you want from a deluxe sound wave? This is going to be perfect. The perfect sound wave. And the SLS, of course, looks so, so good. Um, fingers crossed we get a Revenge of the Fallen sound wave with Ravage. If we do, I would totally buy that in a heartbeat. Or, or some other figure with a Ravage. But, yeah, sound wave is a must-buy. Must-buy. And finally, for something a lot of people probably aren't excited about, but for me, I've been waiting for this for years and years and years. Ever since I was a kid in 2009, 10 years ago, I always dreamed that they'd come up with a three-pack of the RC Sisters and they were accurate because the Deluxes were way too big and, um, and Delita 1 should have been the RC mold, but she wasn't and she was the wrong color. And then they released them in Human Alliance, but they used RC's mold for Chromia, and they used Chromia's mold for RC, so they got them backwards. And then I think they used a leader one's mold for Chromia again when it should have been RC because she looks more like RC than Chromia. 
But anyways, and back in 2009, no one knew who the third RC sister was. We knew it was RC, Chromia, but no one knew who the purple one was. A couple years later, it got revealed that it was Alita 1. People thought it was Flare Up. It was a whole big thing going on back in the day. I remember because I was like, I wanted to learn about them. Um, but now we have an official version. RC is the right mold in the right color. Chromia is the right mold in the right color. And for the first time ever, we actually have a new mold for Alita 1, and it's the right color. And this is amazing. I, I've wanted this for so, so long. This is something that's never been made, and they finally made it, and I'm so happy. Three RC sisters, one deluxe price. I'm so happy. Um, I don't know if they're going to be able to combine or not, because... The original deluxes could combine, it just wasn't in the instructions, and there was concept art for them to combine in the movie, but it never happened. So, Willie, I don't think these are going to combine, there's a chance they will, but I'm just so happy they exist, and I'm going to track them down as soon as possible. Fingers crossed this means we're going to get a, uh, a sideways soon. I feel like Studio Series could make a really, really good sideways uh, if they wanted to. So yeah, those are all the new deluxes. Hot Rod is a disappointment to me. Um, Bumblebee's cool, but I like the Dark of the Moon uh, Camaro a lot more, so I want to hold off until that comes out, if it does come out. Um, because Studio Series makes so many Bumblebees, it's getting stupid. But yeah, Soundwave and the RC Sisters are a must cop. I am so hyped for those figures, I, I gotta grab them. And the Voyager that wasn't revealed, but it's been... Um, talked about all over forums and all over um, leak lists is Mixmaster. People are saying the Voyager for this wave will be Mixmaster, which is, of course, if everyone knows, head of Devastator. Um, so that's what people are saying the Voyager for that wave is going to be. I'm hoping it is because I have my 2009 Mixmaster and I love that figure so much. I actually love all the 2009 figures so much. But a new mix master and that it combines would be so good um so yeah people are are get, people are guessing the wave 8 voyager is going to be mix master no one knows if wave 8 is going to have one voyager or two there's a chance it could have mix master and scrapper but i think it's just going to have a mix master hopefully two but if not just the one and um it's gonna look good because every the studio series has gotten so much right they've only gotten a few things wrong and I'm so excited. So hopefully Mixmaster is in this wave. I'm definitely going to get Mixmaster. Of course, I'm going to buy every Constructicon to combine to form Devastator. Currently for me, Wave 6 Deluxes still are not out in Canada. We've been getting a lot of Siege, War for Cybertron, but we haven't been, we haven't been getting a lot of Studio Series. I only saw the Wave 6 Voyagers once, picked them up on spot. Haven't seen them since. I haven't seen Wave 6 Deluxes I haven't heard anything about them on forums. If anyone watching this video lives in Ontario and you found the Wave 6 Deluxes in person, comment down below. Um, so hopefully they come out soon. Canada is just really, really far behind right now. And because I know parts of America have already found Wave 7. So uh, yeah, this wave is probably going to come out 2020, early 2020, I'd say. And Soundwave and the RC Sisters, what more do you want? I'm so hyped on that. So thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys next time and bye.